Thank you very much for speaking with us, Stefan. So you've just completed the Leadership and Management Development Program at Continental. Can you think, tell us what you thought of the program? I believe the program was um, very, very um, complete, um, from a theory to, to practical example. And um, I mean, the example was well, really, really great. So people could really relate to the theory in, uh, in, uh, in the daily daily, daily work, uh, basis, basically. Sure, great. Now, has the program at all changed your view of leadership and management? Uh, at all changed, uh, to be honest, not, not really, but it confirmed the, the theory. And um, one um, addition uh, for me was really the, the impact of the good or bad leadership. So basically putting a, a, um, in, in the view of the employee, what means good or bad leadership and what could be the impact. So I believe this was one aspect that was uh, very important in the, in the training um, and uh, that was uh, not clear for me before. So the importance of good leadership and what impact could be not to do a leadership or having a bad leadership. So Stefan, can you tell us what is one key action point for you that you'll implement when you go back to the workplace? One uh, key action that was already put in place was uh, on the appraisal, which is one very important part of, the, of leadership. And it was an easy tip that was given uh, in three, three sentences. Um, three word, key word is stop, um, do more and continue. And that was an easy way to summarize an appraisal that takes one or two hours in three uh, easy words and give a good message and a good summary to the employee. Sure. And Stefan, I know that you've worked in leadership and management roles for some time now. You must have experienced a number of different challenges. Can you tell us about one challenge or some general challenges that you've experienced and how you've overcome them? Um, <clears throat> I believe the, one of the biggest challenge is um, a lack of motivation uh, of the team against a specific task. Uh, because it's not a, a specific situation, it's more uh, a general mindset and it takes time to change the mindset. And uh, um, I believe we all face this, um, this situation, lack of motivation, where we see that the team is down and is not 100% uh, behind the, 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 the task, the team spirit missing. And I believe one key element is really to um, earn the trust of the team, to go back um, to the team, to act as uh, being part of the, of the team, part of the challenge, and, uh, and really motivate them and, and act as a team with them to achieve the common goal. Sure. So you obviously think about your role as a leader and a manager a lot. Who is a leader that you admire? Um, one, uh, one important uh, uh, part of the, 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 the most important um, part of the, the, the good leader is uh, for me leading by example and uh, this is something really very, very important and one of the best uh, leader in my mind leading by example is uh, Nelson Mandela. Uh, he, he spent almost 30 years uh, behind bars um, from the apartheid. Um, and uh, at the government, he insisted to put um, white people in his government to basically show uh, a change. And he never answered racism with racism. And uh, this is something that important. he led by example. And he wanted really to, <coughs> to show um, the, the, the world that it is possible to make, a, to make a change. So leading by example, he was a good example. Sure. And leading by example is certainly a philosophy that's often espoused in, in mm -hmm. leadership and learning and development programs. If we get back to learning and development, why would you say that it's important, essential for any organisation? Um, <coughs> why? Um, because we already did it like that in the past and uh, this is something I just I hate this answer. <laughs> And I believe we all face this, um, this answer because we always did it mm -hmm. like that. And, uh, and this is status quo and I just hate status quo. It's very important to continually improve and uh, to, to, 
not to accept the fact that we always did like that, that there is a change, a potential change, and uh, it's for the better. Thank you very much for your thoughts today, Stefan. Thank you.